The tearful, accompanying children, event made us the focus of the whole class. At that moment, I was so emotional, I couldn't help but rush to hug her. She was also dumbfounded at that moment, but a second later she wrapped her arms around me. Not knowing where to start from someone in the parents' row, sporadic applause rang out and gradually spread throughout the classroom. The homeroom teacher, students and parents all stood up and gave us the warmest applause. In that moment, I told her that I would tell her the whole truth one day. Yes, I definitely have to let my daughter know the truth, I am her father, not her mother. She has always loved me and I give all my love to her. I don't want to have to lie to the person I love even though the truth might hurt. But to avoid causing too much psychological shock to her, I intended to tell her the truth but in the year she entered high school. This is probably the right age at which I think she can accept the truth. The rest of the accompanying children session is a regular parent meeting. Students are allowed to go out to play, while parents will stay in the classroom to listen to the homeroom teacher summarize their child's learning progress during the last semester, along with the latest announcements and predictions about the next semester. But I guess you wouldn't want to hear this boring process, would you? Time flies, my daughter officially entered high school this year after completing the level transfer exam. Of course, I have absolutely no doubts about her ability. She has always proven itself to be an excellent student from the very first day of school. But even so, a reward was well deserved for the results she achieved. After all, it was the sweat and tears she had shed after staying up all night at the desk. I am her mother and there is no reason to deny the effort she has put in. Moreover, part of the driving force that helped her get to where she is today is me. During the past few years, our relationship between mother and daughter has not faded day by day. I still love her and she is also filial to me. To reward her on the occasion of her passing into high school as she wanted, I decided to take a few days off to go on a long trip with her. Perhaps this is also the right time for me to fulfill the promise I made to my heart, which is to tell her the whole truth. Hope she will accept me. I don't want the deep motherhood for a long time to suddenly go up in smoke. That night, we took a lot of time to prepare our luggage to go out. This trip will be a three-day cruise. Although she has grown up, but my cute girl still can't hide her joy when she hears about traveling with her mother. She's grown up now, her figure is out of place. The more she matures, the more she looks like a copy of my dear wife, beautiful and heart-fluttering but nothing like me. I wonder if she has ever doubted this point. After getting ready, we went to bed to prepare to go to bed early because tomorrow morning we will have to leave before dawn. To this day, I and my daughter still share the same bed. I have offered to separate her room many times, but she refused. Well, I don't know how to refuse ladies, because they are the ones I love the most. It didn't take long for her to fall into a deep sleep, despite her impatience to travel. This is completely understandable, she was too tired after a series of days of studying for exams. I looked at her for a while before sleeping, whispering to my wife, it's time, my dear. Soon she will know the truth. I've lived your life for so long, now maybe I'll have to go back to the old days. Whatever the outcome, I will love you both for the rest of my life. All these years, I still whisper to my wife like that. Because to me, she is still here next to me. The next morning, the coach bus departed to take us to the tourist beach. The outfit I chose today is a pink off-the-shoulder floral dress, almost knee-length. I'm over 40 this year, but I'm still very confident in my body. With light makeup and loose curls, I don't look too different from young girls. It's not that I'm narcissistic, it's simply because I don't have the so-called degradation when giving birth to women. I also spend quite a bit of time taking care of my beauty, I believe I do it not only for me but also for my wife. I'm playing my wife, so of course I don't want people to criticize her beauty. To be able to wear this off-the-shoulder dress, I had to choose a lingerie set with a strapless bra. I'm not a big fan of thongs, 
but unfortunately in my wife's wardrobe, this pink silk lingerie set is the only thing I can find that has a strapless bra. The bra is designed to be very compact with a bow attached right between the breasts. The panties, as I said, are thongs with only an elastic waistband, the fabric underneath is rather modest. The dress has a rather wide leg and the length is not at a safe level, so to be sure, I have to wear a tight shorts. In order to completely accentuate my body in the dress, I don't wear socks and choose to wear a pair of white ballet flats. Meanwhile, my daughter is a more dynamic outfit. She opted for a black short sleeve t-shirt and a beige knee-length skirt. Her feet wear white sneakers and her hands wear a trendy leather bracelet. Sitting next to her on the coach bus seat, I felt like I was, mutton dressed up as lamb. It's shame on me. Since the entrance exam took place at the end of May, the period we traveled was during the summer. The coach bus is full at this time because summer is the season of tourism. Do not know how coincidental, most of the passengers on the coach bus are women. Only a little passengers are men, often fathers traveling with the family. With the beauty of us, we are almost the center of attraction for all eyes. The atmosphere in the coach bus was very comfortable, some people even came to talk to them naturally. I'm glad they asked, you two are so pretty. Traveling without parents? Ah, turns out I'm still young, right my daughter sitting next to me kept pouting. Mom, you've taken all of my spotlight again. At school, I am always the focus, having you naturally I find myself invisible. That's not true. They praise both. You even have more people praising, they praising you, plus me. I replied. She giggled. I mean, it's a tie, I think I'll praise you too. But I praises you more. I say. No, I praises you more. She doesn't want to give up. With such a fuss for several hours with dozens of different topics between us, the coach bus soon arrived. In front of us now is the clear blue beach with white sand. No exaggeration, this is heaven in the middle of the world. Even I couldn't hide the excitement. Well, because we will have nearly three days to enjoy the refreshing feeling of this paradise. We did not rush to the hotel to check in, but stood on the side of the road looking at the sea for a while. I lightly kissed her hair and said, Darling, this is my reward for you for your relentless efforts. Having fun. Perhaps after this occasion, we will not be the same again, my voice trailed off and staggered later. At that time, my daughter probably still did not realize what was strange behind this statement.